Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you the best way i found to be able to record your phone screen while you're working on your computer. And you can actually integrate it into other programs like OBS if you want to actually record your video on your computer by still using whatever's going on on your phone screen. So as you can see, when I swipe the tabs here, it's actually pretty responsive. It only has about, I would say, quarter second delay or something like that. Yeah, that's about right. So a program we're using is called AirDroid. So you install the AirDroid for both your phone, and then you can either use AirDroid Web, which looks a bit like this. Uh, you log in or you scan the QR code, and it connects your phone to your uh, computer. Or they also have the desktop client that's available for Windows 10 and Mac. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they have Linux at the moment, but most people do use either Windows or Mac. So when you have this, you can do something called mirroring mode, which gives you a bunch of different options. So in order to show that off, I'm going to close this off right now and we'll get a set back up. So closing view only mode, don't show that again, okay. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different things you can actually do in AirDroid involving transferring files from your device and that kind of junk. But what we care about in this video is Air Mirror. So Air Mirror gives you four different options, and the ones that are really relevant to us are View Only Mode at the bottom right, right hand corner, which is specifically referring to reviewing the screen of our device, that's this tutorial. But you can also access the phone camera from desktop. Now unfortunately I wasn't able to get very good frame rates with that, it was actually kind of sluggish. Um, so I would probably use something like IP webcam as an alternative if you need to actually record a camera from your phone. But down here at the bottom, when you just want to record the phone, I think AirDroid is really solid for that. So in view only mode, uh, it basically connects to your device as long as you have AirDroid open on your device, uh, it should be able to connect just fine. Now, the first time you do it, it's going to give you a little pop-up message on your device which will say, are you sure you want to allow connections? You just allow that. So after a few seconds, it connects to our device, uh, but you may not actually want it inside of the Android main window. So they added a pop-up button here in the top right-hand corner, which gets you back to where I was before. And when it's like this, this window, uh, pop-up window, is much more manageable if you need to add it into another program, such as Open Broadcaster Software. So in Open Broadcaster Software, we can easily add in this window, if we want to record um, basically our phone from within Open Broadcaster software. So I'm going to add a window capture, and you just choose Air Mirror from the uh, options. Not AirDroid, because that's the main app, but Air Mirror for showing what's happening with your phone. We add that in. Uh, we can scale it up, crop the edges if you don't want that. So just by doing a simple crop, we can basically get it exactly how we want. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, once we have it fully cropped, we can scale it to the screen, and we'll be able to use the incoming footage however we want. So before we go, I do want to show off one more thing, which is that if you have an application which runs in landscape mode, you can actually use it in landscape mode for your recording. So um, obviously the home screen on many devices is going to be portrait only, which is uh, where it's taller than it is wide, but if you have a landscape compatible application you can record it like that and that should be able to support resolutions that you would find on something like YouTube, uh, like 1280 by 720 uh, pixel resolution or 1920 by 1080, which are the standard formats that we use in this modern day and age. So, so that's pretty much all there is to it. You just install the app on your phone, you get the companion app on your computer or you use the web interface, you connect the two, and then you can do Air Mirror in order to get whatever's happening on your phone to show up on your computer where you can record inside of Open Broadcaster software or whatever tool you happen to use. Uh, also, I guess we can mention you can use the record function straight inside of uh, Air Mirror, so it's not actually necessary to use Open Broadcaster software, um, but yeah, whatever you want to use. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.